Oh, the day has been very exciting. Actually, it's given me a lot of pleasure because I think now um, the contrast with uh, about the first meeting I went on tropical deforestation uh, in the Amazon in 1972, and this one is, is just uh, is just incredible. What's the contrast? Well, the contrast is that there, uh, there was a total confrontation between uh, people who wanted to protect the forest and avoid deforestation and the people who wanted to eat. And at one point in that meeting, I stood up and I said, you know, the, the, problem is, the problem is that we're not termites, that we don't need wood. We need agriculture. And that was just uh, everybody when, you know, sort of boo or yay, a total trade-off. Between, agri uh, between food production and deforestation. What do we see here from Dan Nepstadt's work in Mato Grosso and his Brazilian colleagues is there's a synergy. It's a synergy. Agricultural production, beef production, soybean production is increasing, the yields are increasing, and deforestation is going down. That's a synergy as opposed to the trade-off we had before, and that's, that's, just, uh, that's just a very happy thing uh, to see. Now uh, we have a, a very good example, a real paradigm shift of you can have the synergies between reducing tropical deforestation and increasing agricultural production in the same place. And why, That's amazing. What, why are events like this important for exploring those ideas? It's, uh, it's, it's essential. What we're talking about is essential because this will guarantee environmental sustainability and uh, Increasing the, increasing the production of, of, uh, of food that we need uh, to feed a world of 9 billion people by 2050. This is one of the ways for how this will happen. So it's, it's essential to humankind.